Hey, what's happening guys? What is going on YouTube? In today's video, we have a message for those of you out there who are millennials and want to make a difference in the world. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about millennials in this day and age, both in terms of like what the future looks like for millennials. We see a lot of negative articles talking about how millennials are lazy and entitled and everything else. But one other thing that that these studies and that employers report about millennials is millennials want to make a difference in the world, right? Millennials want to do something with their lives and with their careers that makes a difference in the world, that improves the world, that improves other people's lives. And that's a really good thing. That That's a very positive thing. But I think a lot of millennials are misguided when they go about doing this. And I see this on, uh, I'll watch Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk on, on occasion. And, you know, he talks to a lot of young people who are starting businesses or want to start businesses. And there's a lot of people out there who want to start charities or want to start a business that does some type of social good. And, well, that's a really good thing. One thing that Gary V says a lot is you need to make yourself successful if you want to be able to change the world, if you want to be able to positively affect people's lives, and if you want to be empowered to actually make a change. And something that I think he's referenced before, and I've heard reference in a variety of other scenarios as well, is the example of on an airplane, right? If you're on an airplane and all of a sudden the plane hits some turbulence and the plane drops, you know, 500 feet in a minute and, you know, the air pressure is gone and things like that, what do the stewardesses tell you? The stewardesses tell you, put your mask on first before you try to help your elderly mother, your children, you know, who you're the passenger next to you, whomever else. And the reason for that is because if you black out due to a lack of oxygen, you're not going to be able to help anybody else. So you have to make sure you got yourself right before you're able to, to help somebody else. And I, I think that analogy kind of goes into uh, business. I mean, look at business and even success in the real world. Look at people like Bono from U2 or Ashton Kutcher or any other celebrity uh, athlete, business person, Richard Branson, anybody who does a lot of good in the world, um, and in many cases, the people who do the most good in the world, uh, they do so because A, they have a platform, they have attention, they have an audience that they can get behind whatever social good they're trying to promote. And B, they have their own money that they can throw in and actually start something. So, you know, if you're broke, if you're working a minimum wage job, if you're living check to check, I mean, yeah, you can go down to the food shelter and, and, and volunteer down there. And that's a great thing. And I would encourage all of you guys to do that. But like, if you really want to make a big, big impact, you're going to need some power. You're going to need some money if you want to start your own nonprofit or whatever else that it is that you want to get into. Um, and kind of what, what kind of spurred the idea for this video, if you look down below at the bottom of the screen, it says, I was thinking today, when people bombard, and this is in reference to, uh, I, I was having a chat on Reddit with some people um, about merch, and this, this guy kind of came out of the blue with this, but he says, I was thinking today, when people bombard a niche with improved cats, and for those of you guys who don't know what improved cats are, it's basically when people find a design that's selling and find a way to improve it or make it more funny or do a better design or tweak it a bit and resell that, do they ever wonder that they might be destroying somebody's sole source of income? Worse, someone in some third world country where their entire family survives off their income. And then he's got kind of a, a sad or defeated um, kind of emoji sort of face below it. And this is something that I, I see a surprising, surprisingly a lot in a lot of my YouTube videos about e-commerce and reselling and private label brands is, you know, I'll make a video, you know, basically telling people the process of like, OK, find a find a niche, find an area, find a product that needs to be served, find an audience for it, find their pain points go source that product from Alibaba very cheap, improve it a little bit, you know, find a couple of, of, of sellers on Alibaba, take the best piece of each one of their items, uh, try to get a seller to make that custom item for you, put your own private label brand behind it, do a good job of marketing it, and then buy it for $3 and sell it for $20 and make your money. And I'm amazed by how many people in the comment sections of my videos will say things like, is this legal? That this can't be legal. And it's like, well, yes, it's legal. That's what Walmart does. That's what Target does. That's what every business does. That's how business works. You buy low, you sell high. And I see a lot of people saying things like, you're a bad person. Why would you buy something for $3 and then, quote unquote, rip somebody off and charge them $20 for the item? And it's like, again, that's how business works. People who who take risks and solve problems are rewarded for it. And I don't know if people expect me to buy an item off Alibaba for $3 and then resell it for the customer 
to the customer for three dollars never mind that a i i myself need to live right i need to make an income b there is a cost to shipping that product there's going to be some defect products i mean there are losses that come when you engage in business those need to be covered and then lastly i mean just like that's how business works we all need to earn a living um if market value for something is twenty dollars and i can find a way to get it for three dollars and improve it and if i'm providing a quality product to the customer that's not ripping somebody off that's business but this overall like attitude that we're seeing of like everybody seems to think that we're living in this utopian world like the market doesn't care about your good intentions the market doesn't care that you want to do good the market cares about you know solving people's needs and solving problems and offering a product that's in demand that's what the market cares about and i just see a lot of people kind of living in this utopian world where we all you know i don't know if people want to live in this like barter society where we all just do good deeds for one another and everybody survives and you know back in the days of like hunters and gatherers that that may have worked but you know society has expanded so much there's too many people um we're very separated we're not tribe i mean for all types of reasons that that can't really work on a larger scale and I guess what I'm kind of getting at here is if, you know, I think a lot of younger people do want to make a difference in the world. And if you do, you're going to have to have to improve yourself. You're going to have to make money. You're going to have to build an audience. You're going to have to get power to do all that. And what's kind of silly to me, another thing that I kind of wanted to point out is in, in this comment that we're looking at below, this guy seems to think that because you do well, somebody else has to do poorly. You know, there's not this X, Y equals the, the effect. And I heard Joe Rogan talking about this recently on a podcast, and he kind of talked about people in reference to talking about starting a podcast or a YouTube channel or a blog. He said a lot of people out there uh, seem to say, oh, that's saturated, that's saturated. The, the, you know, there's not a finite amount of people's attention. I mean, just because somebody likes my YouTube channel doesn't mean they can't like and watch somebody else's, else's YouTube channel. So in some senses, it's different with like products and services. I mean, every person is probably only going to have one primary care doctor. So, I mean, in that sense, yeah, there's only so many clients to go around. But when we're talking about more creative things and especially like digital content and media and things like that, like just because there's 10 podcasts out there about comic books doesn't mean that you can't make an 11th. If you have something interesting to share, if you have a different take on things, um, if you can present information in a different way, there's no reason why somebody who watches the other 10 can't also watch yours. And there's no reason because somebody watches yours that they're going to stop watching somebody else's. Um, so this idea that there's like a finite amount of customers or that for one person to do well, the other person has to do poorly is just really silly. And, and with this guy's comment here, I mean, if we were to take his his thought here to an extreme example, well, why should you have a job? Because you having a job is, is potentially taking away a job from somebody else who needs that job more. Or, you know, if you're single and you have a job, well, your job might do more for somebody who has a family or maybe somebody has, has health issues and they could use that job a lot more than you like. You know, I mean, if we take his example to the extreme, there's no sense for you to do well in anything. Like, why are you breathing air? Because you're taking air out, air away that somebody else could breathe. Why are you drinking clean water? Because somebody else maybe needs that clean. You know, we could take this example to the extreme and you might as well not do anything good for yourself because you're taking away from somebody else. The world doesn't work that way. Just because you do well doesn't mean somebody else has to do poorly. And people shouldn't feel bad about having success or starting a business or whatever else, because it's, it's when you do those things that you're going to to have more power to do good in the world and you know i can kind of relate to this um you know some of us have to do jobs that don't really i don't want to say improve people's lives but back when i was working for an internet uh marketing and internet advertising agency part of me was kind of like you know in the grand scheme of things if i didn't do my job 500 less i've talked about this before 500 less people are going to see the new ad for the kung fu panda movie and is what i'm doing really improving the world in any way you know but but what you but and what I sorry, I kind of lost my thought here. Um, I wound up getting laid off from that job and then got a job where I was kind of it was a minimum wage, but it wasn't really getting anywhere. And I was having a hard time keeping my own head above water, let alone trying to help anybody else. And, you know, fast forward a couple of years, I started a business. I started this YouTube channel. And, and now, you know, I have more money if I wanted to start some type of charity or, or something like that. Um, I feel like I'm helping a lot of you guys, you know, I put out a lot of content for free and if I were scraping by having to work two and three jobs, I wouldn't be able to do this. But, you know, a few years back, I was kind of hopeless. I was kind of lost. I was kind of misdirected and I kind of found my way and I found a little bit of success and now I'm, I'm, 
that's kind of what inspired me to start this YouTube channel. And now I'm kind of able to kind of share that message. And, and I do get emails and messages from people saying, you know, you helped inspire me to start my business or, you know, I appreciate you answering my questions. And because I've had a little bit of success, it has allowed me to reach more people and help more people. So I guess the message of the day, don't feel bad about doing good. Um, don't think that you're some type of martyr by by you know doing poorly for yourself because you think you're going to help people because that's not true the more success you have uh the more you can inspire people and the more you can help other people so that is my message for millennials who want to make a difference in the world if you enjoyed this video please share it on social media share it with your friends give it a thumbs up on youtube and if you are not subscribed to the channel please hit that subscribe button below i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you guys making this channel possible and i will catch you on the next video